dope news and reviews. Y'all know we back. You know how we do. We back two times. We got your boy Tupac, man. Yeah. What's going on? Well, we got to talk about Tupac because our audience is very interested in Tupac. We got a lot of uh, faithful Tupac fans. Last time we talked about uh, Tupac, we were talking about What's the guy's name? Billy Garland. Wasn't that his father's name? And yeah. him going through it with a feeny. And I noticed a lot of comments were saying that the government took Pac out. A lot of people have that feeling. I don't think that. Um, <laughs> you might have your suspicions. But yeah, it turns out that the murder investigation is on still. They just served a dang search warrant at somebody's house in Las Vegas trying to figure out you know what happened to Pac. i'll read here from um abc7 news in las vegas they say police searched a home in las vegas area on monday night in a long dormant murder case of hip-hop legend tupac shakur a law enforcement source told abc news the lvmpd can confirm a search warrant has been served in henderson nevada on july 17 2023 as part of an ongoing tupac shakur homicide investigation we will have no further comment at this time, said a Las Vegas police officer in a statement. We know that Pac is a prolific figure. He was shot on September 7th, 1996, what and died know? in the hospital six days later from his injuries at the age of 25, <laughs> and no arrests have been made. <laughs> what they Although we, KPD? Well, yeah, KPD? we've been seeing a lot of Keefe D uh, interviews on Vlad. He's, he had a uh, day in Vegas. He moved out there to Vegas. Could this have been Keefe D's house? Is that what you tried to bring into the equation? Right, because it was it was it was the uh his nephew, right? Was the Orlando was the shooter? Yeah. Well, from what they say, so from now, what they say, I mean, so now, I don't know what to believe now. Who was in the car now? Was it Keefe D, Baby J? What was his name? Baby J. Baby Lane. I think Baby Lane. It was Baby Lane, it was Keefe D, and it was the security guard. I mean, the police officer, the red. No, dude. I, this is a breaking story. This came out. We all gonna lock know, up. That's what I yeah, want. Less know. than an hour ago, this came on ABC. Don't get me to lie. I think that it should be thoroughly investigated, and we should base our beliefs, our opinions on the facts. A lot of people with these Tupac conspiracy theories, they watch these YouTube videos and get a lot of stuff cooked up in their mind. And before yeah. you know it, you just you in somewhere in outer space with the theory. You know, some people will tell you he's still in Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, my grandfather said yeah, that too. Tupac's dad was his bodyguard. Tupac's dad was his bodyguard. Damn. That's what he told me. Garland. Garland, I don't know if it was him. I gotta ask, it might have been Matutu. Oh, Matutu was a Matutu the, was a gangster, yeah. The, the, the one who stepped up, all right. Peter Matula, too, he just passed away, man. So, mm. condolences to him and his family, yeah. I know I probably didn't pronounce that correctly, but uh, do you think somebody could actually do some time for this? I've given up hope if it ain't Keefe D. <laughs> He the one out here claiming it, you know. I heard that Keefe D could get charged for that, even though he had a deal to give testimony and he was immune. They say that if you talk about it outside of the case, this is what Vlad was saying. And, you know, this ain't 100%. I really want to get some insights from somebody yeah. that's like a lawyer or something. But they said talking about it in a public forum like that kind of takes, you know, it puts everything back into play. Like they could build up a case and try to babble damn well he the one that's been claiming you know claiming that body you yeah, know of his yeah. nephew it really was his nephew but he act like it was the shot he called you know what i mean like and the, the crazy thing <laughs> about keefe d is like boosie called him a snitch and he called boosie a snitch yeah that's how it goes i don't know you call people snitch who call you a snitch it's yeah. like how you know it's like know, how man. kids do when they do something wrong. It's yeah, like, I know you are, but one of my time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he stole the cookies, but you stole the peanut butter and jelly sandwich the other day. Like, that's the yeah. same stuff with grown people do the same shit, bro. Bro, they caught us. Come out, bro. Stop hiding. They caught us. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we caught, bro. Give it up. So I don't bro, know what ass kids, man. Dog. 
I don't know what to make of it. Let me see what they talking about over here. See if we have any new insights. Cause I read from the ABC News one, but this is the uh the Newsweek article. Investigators may have a lead in the Tupac Shakur's murder, a case that's been unsolved for 27 years. All this, all this talking y'all got going on on the internet, everybody done figured it out already. They ain't make no arrest yet, and they're being tight lipped about the information. Mm. But that that means like they probably closing in on somebody. Everybody getting locked up right now, cuz better keep your head on the swivel. TV. Trump TV about to do. get locked up again. Boosie having legal trouble. Rico on YSA. Even she ain't called a Rico. So I don't I don't know right now. Anything can happen. It's still a mystery. Summertime in them streets, you know how I go every summertime, bro. It's like what do you somebody think about gotta go to jail, but you no, gotta go. No, nah, you're right. What do you think about <laughs> the the claim from Keefe D that Puffy delivered money after Tupac got shot, but because Keefe D didn't receive the money, his cousin or whoever like stole the money, he couldn't I really why. get I believe that story. Yeah, I believe that story because it was like, you know how niggas is, money changed hands. Somebody yeah. got that M and was yeah. like, man, it's a whole M. Yeah, like come man, and get it. let them boys, man, <laughs> tell them boy to get it in blood. Blood. Hey, boys on the radio to the side. <laughs> exactly. Man, we got guns M. and I'm an M strong right Think now. Think about like, it, though. <laughs> but that would have implemented him into it. He would have been, if he would have gave that million transactional with him, that yeah. would have implicated him. Puffy. Puffy yeah. might be locked up right Puffy now. Puffy probably would have been locked up. And the dude who, he got the M. So it's like. I want to try to say, like, people be making all of these jokes about Puffy, but Puffy is a gangster. Puffy threatened a, a, a coach of his son with a kettlebell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Puffy out here, bro. Matter of fact, we did a few videos on Puffy. You might have to watch your mouth about Puffy now that I think about it. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. Are you even here with us right now? You yeah, heard what yeah, I no. said? Yeah, yeah. I heard my do- <laughs> I heard my dog barking. I'm like, damn, who in the front, man? Like, <laughs> no, I was saying that camera system. Go here. <laughs> no, I was saying with everything going on with Puffy, should we watch our mouths about uh Sean Cone? I mean, Damn, he right. you better watch your mouth here. about anybody if you don't know what you <laughs> what you mean. Yeah, it's like prison rules is in effect, bro. And you don't you can say something about somebody and they may want to do some harm to you. You know, being hey, the man. media, being on this media, you got to understand and respect if you're gonna give your opinion, it may come, it may be somebody don't like that. Hey, listen, I'm standing on him, man. Whatever it is, it's going to be, man. But, that, <laughs> but but the type of person I am, I do respect yeah. everybody. Even when we talk about truth tellers, like Keefe D, yeah, I ain't going to lose respect for rat. No, you be going for it. Listen, you be going man. In, boy. Listen, I'll say, listen that's what they call it. If you, tell, if you tell, they call you a rat. Listen, I, I, I told about the story when I had to tell on somebody. Sometimes you got to get somebody out the way. Sometimes no, you got to tell. Sometimes yeah, you got to rat. That's a good Samaritan tip. That's not nothing. Listen, that's not Bob. Bob. Sometimes not you got to rat. You got to rat. Sometimes you can't rat on your guys. And when you go online, guys, and you but, tell but, people but that, that ratting on their guys, they're going to get very listen, upset. Listen, even, if you tell, even if you tell in a self-defense yeah. case, yeah, there's people out there that's going to call you a rat. I'm not going to call you that, but I, I'm going to ask the question. We got to we got a show to do. Is he a rat? Is he a snitch? That's not me yeah. disrespecting anybody. I'm I'm right. posing the question, and I'm gonna let everybody know we treat rats with respect right here. At least I do. <laughs> I'm not gonna look. You ain't told on me. I'm not mad at you. I'm just oh. trying to get to the truth of the situation. But I understand. You're the man. You're the snatching your honor. Listen, listen. I had to tell on somebody, <laughs> man. It, it 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 take a rat to know a rat sometimes, man. Somebody hit me yeah. and ran. I got the license plate number. I told. I told that's just what it is. So I, we paying taxes out here. What I'm supposed to do? Get it back in blood. I'm supposed to be a vigilante. I'm Batman now. Sometimes you gotta tell. Now, I mean, Keith, in this situation, I feel like he could have kept that to himself. 
But then again, he told on somebody dead to get out of jail. So it's like, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of okay, you know. I give you permission to do that, Bob. Like if we do something together and I die and you need to tell on me to get out of a situation, I won't hold it against you. If I'm dead, I won't hold it against you. Hopefully we gotta never go through that situation. <laughs> Hopefully we never go through that. So y'all chime in on the comments, man. What, what, what do you think about this investigation, man? You say the government's still behind it? Are they narrowing yeah. in? Yeah, no, nah, the government is like, we got the guy. It's not us. It wasn't <laughs> us. It's these guys. Remember all that you guys were talking about? You just trying to throw red meat to the conspiracy community. I know you. You don't think that's true, man. This is typical nigga shit. Tupac got shot. That wasn't no uh, a conspiracy theory. It wasn't no assassination. Hey, that nigga got a bag put on him, and they got him out of here. No, you was he was stomping people out. There are some people that will argue Tupac had it coming. You can't just be stomping out high ranking crips. In, 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 a, in a state that you ain't really good in and everything that's going on, you can't do that and expect to live. So that's just... I understand what you're learning. saying, but it's just, it's co coincidentally, you know, everybody <laughs> that the government so seems to be keeping oh, an eye God. on in the black community, these guys end up dead. You know, we hear... People was relying on, on Tupac. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go ahead, give hold it to him. Hold and then we got to hear, we got to hear how you guys were investigating <laughs> these guys, the Martin Luther's, the the uh, Malcolm X's, the Tupac. It's like, this is where, I understand where you coming from. This is nigga shit that happened in the hood. But when I got to understand that the FBI, you guys are tied in the recordings and all of that, it just makes me think I need more evidence. I need to understand some more things to, to be able to come to my, you know, to get them eliminated from this whole situation. So yeah you know uh what the thing is with these shadow government conspiracy theories it's really hard to disabuse people of these beliefs because if you show them evidence of the contrary to what they believe they'll say they planted the evidence you know they, they manufactured the evidence <laughs> if there's a lack of evidence they'll be like they covered their tracks so it's no, it's a circular type of logic that they follow where it's like, nah, I still think the government. You, Some you of them, my you, mind can be changed. No, my mind can be know. changed. My oh, good. I'm glad changed. to hear you say that. Me, I base my beliefs on evidence, and I'm happy to change my mind if you give me some solid evidence of something different than what I think. So that's why I'm interested to see where the investigation goes, but I'm not, I'm not putting this on the government. I'm not. I believe Keefe D went with the story that he tells, to be honest with you. Most of yeah. it. You know, most of it. But y'all chime in on the comments and y'all let us know what you think. And, you know, we'll get at you next time.